nice tight from the line here. <laughs> Well, so of course it's Saturday afternoon, you know what that means. We're back at Butlin Road once again for the final home game of the season here in the UCL Premier Division South as Rugby Town welcome Wellingborough Town. What was that? Well, so a bit of a fun fact for you folks. The last time, because I was there as well from last season, and the last time that Rugby Town were at home to visit as Wellingborough, they drew to all, I believe. Shit! Oh, where's that going? Oh! Come on, Come on. River Avon versus the River Nen. Oh! Boy, for match. No, no, go, 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 go. So that, yeah. Cool, boy, cool. Oh, that's it, that's it. Jordan Wilson. Hey, look, one! Well, that's it! Whoa! Still in that. Still in that. Hey! Get a flag up your ass! He ain't that fast, he is! Bend over and I'll stick it up for ya! What the flag? Oh, yeah, what the flag? Oh, shit! One little space. Oh shit. 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 I just said that. Five minutes. I don't See, the Coventry Spinks are about to be on the cusp of becoming champions and being promoted. After that, and of course, Rugby Town also travel away to uh, Milton Keynes Irish for a rearranged match due to a power cut outage. <laughs> I believe it was in my gut it was going to happen as well. Whoa! Hey, he's giving it now, jump up! We're all one way, ref! Call the ambulance! Oh, oh get up! Does she trust you, mate? Oh, you pussy! He's got to go off for a concussion fucking thing there. You don't know what you're doing! You don't know what you're doing! Hey, he's got to go off then! No! Happy ending for Coventry Sphinx then. Got the Saint Neat side down to 10 men. Attempts in the kick. Oh! Huge attempt from Wellingborough. So, if you've just joined us, it is of course the final home game of the season here at Butlin Road. Rugby Town nil, Wellingborough nil, and obviously Cobb Spinks are winning 3 0. Sadly, bastards. It's like they already knew the league's gone. Think about it, back in January or December, whenever it was, 19 points clear we were, and now look at it now. Oh, subtle. We were 19 points clear, miles ahead. Yeah. And now it's gone. And also the fact that, as I said during the game, Coventry Spinks are full of our ex players. Yeah, and which Borough. is very awkward fact. Yeah. Or this place will descend into a complete riot. Yeah. Right, we'll see you in the second half. End of analysis. Second off now. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Oh! Let's from Wellington. Why don't we score this? GG Spinks. 
No! Oh! Yeah, and PR should just shit some giggles now. Oh, hey, is that going? <laughs> oh, at least we, at least we, at least another rugby's winning. Rugby Borough, they're winning three one against Northampton Selby Rangers. Oh wow! Wow! We're even more. Go on, go on, what a premiership go on. rugby game! Go on! Oh! Almost got no goal from Wellingborough. Almost. Oh, goal update from Spinks. Spinks are five 0 up. Oh shit! Really? Two two. Oh fuck off! No way. Jurgen, for fuck's sake! Sort it out! Dick. Where's that going? Well, that's it! Top it! Top it! Yes! It's a goal! Hang on! And it's offside! Right, five, fuck off, you prick! Oh, shit! No! Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, it's supposed to be a false alarm, folks. Due to that corrupt referee. Hang on, hang on! Hang on! No! What's a goal? What's going on here? Oh, oh shit! Humbugs! Humbugs in the net! Humbugs in the net! for a lap, holy oh, shit! Oh, and of course, Bally equalised! 7-0 Spinks! No way! Coventry Spinks on the ecstasy! 7-0 yes. up! Or yes. should I say 7 up? Beat me to it. Or is it the seven heaven? Yeah, wait. I reckon that's all the seven up springs we'll need. Hang on! Oh! Just missing out! Oh, it's Sid, Sid, Sid. Sid. Oh. Keep playing. Keep playing early. New boy, new boy. Oh. What? You missed what? Nonsense! Hang on, come on now, come on! No! Not like this, not like no! Oh, <laughs> both down! Hey! Action all around as the Valley team sheet this time was Tom Fielding and Keena Rosser playing in the starting 11. Keeping an eye on potential champions of the UCL of rivals Coventry Spinks when they played against Vistas Ainsbury Rovers. The first half saw three goals from the league leaders. First one was an own goal followed by the two making this 3-0 at half time. The visitors were down to just 10 men. Meanwhile, in the first half here at Butlin Road, it was a frustrating one as the result remains goalless at half time. It was not good news for the fans of Rugby Town hearing things are strongly looking up for the rivals and Valley's hopes for winning the silverware is in clear doubt. In the second half, Rugby conceded a goal thanks to a 25-yard free kick stunner courtesy of Wellingborough and it was an improved final minutes of the match when one of the substitutes in Valley strikers David David Kolodinsky helped equalise not long after coming off the bench. However though, at the Spinks ground, more goals just keep on coming for the league leaders as four more goals were scored as the title race was most certainly intact. Following a huge comfortable lead, it was confirmed that Coventry Spinks have done it and declared champions with Valley as the runners-up also confirming, and 347 were in attendance for the final home match clash of the season here at Butlin Road. From Rugby Town's point of view, it was really disappointing and extremely gutted that Valley have just missed out on the silverware considering they're on top of the table for around half of the season. Over 15 points clear was their best with an impressive plethora of clean sheets, but at the end of the season started to beckon, it was draw after draw and a couple of defeats for the club. Some sloppy mistakes were thought were to blame by stealing defeats from the jaws of victory, and some things that Valley will strongly regret. Can history repeat itself with another huge successful clean sheet, and can they learn from their mistakes in order to aim for the next silverware? Look out for some home games coming this season for some pre-season friendly fixtures to be announced in due course. But until then, on behalf of JDB Sport and Region Network, we'll see you next time for the 2023-24 season of the UCL Premier Division South.